Hey what's going on guys welcome to the first video of the series MongoDB for beginners now this video is for those people who have no idea or a little bit idea what MongoDB is so this entire series is going to be beginner friendly so just sit back and enjoy this tutorial because in this video we are just going to see an introduction about MongoDB so what is MongoDB well it's a NoSQL database now a NoSQL database basically means that it is not going to use structured query languages for data manipulations. Also in MongoDB, records and data are stored as documents and it uses JSON-like syntax. Now if you don't know what JSON is, it's basically JavaScript object notation. Well we are going to see the exact syntax further in this video as well as in this entire series. So don't worry if you don't understand what JSON-like syntax looks like. But if you know what JSON is, you probably might have got an idea how the syntax is going to look like. Moving ahead, MongoDB is very different from relational databases like SQL, PostgreSQL, SQLite, etc. So as I've said, it's different from relational databases. Let's now see a comparison between MongoDB and SQL. So in MongoDB, data is stored in JSON-like documents, while in SQL, data is stored in tables and data manipulation is done by structured query language, which is the reason it is called SQL. Next, MongoDB uses dynamic schemas, simply meaning that you don't have to design a schema in the beginning itself, which in case of MySQL, you have to design a schema at the very beginning. So let's take an example, uh, then it might be more clear to you. So if I have to prepare a database for customer details, then in MySQL, let's talk about MySQL first. So in MySQL, you have to first design the schema, which is the column which you are going to have. So let's say it has name, age, phone number, address as columns in a table. So you have to predefine it. But in MongoDB, that's not the case. At any point of time, you can add a field, you can remove a field for any entry. Now it's okay if you don't understand this point because I'm sure at the end of the series you are going to understand what this point exactly means because at some point of time I'm exactly going to show you in code what does this point exactly means. So in MongoDB you have dynamic schemas while in SQL you have static schemas. Now in SQL what we have as tables here in MongoDB we have as collections, rows as documents, columns as fields and joins like inner join, outer join, we have natural join, equijoin in MySQL. We have embedded documents and linking in MongoDB. So now let's see the basic syntax of MongoDB. So this is the basic syntax. Now the JSON-like syntax is a curly braces and within this we have key value pairs. So what exactly is a key value pair? So we have a key element colon the value of that key. So let's take the example of name. Name is the key and its value is su. This is basically a key value pair. So MongoDB uses this syntax to store data. Next moving ahead, we'll ask the most important question which is why to choose MongoDB over SQL? So first point is MongoDB is a flexible data model which means that the database schema can evolve as per your requirements. Now you can relate this point to the point which we have discussed in the comparison of MongoDB and SQL. So the next point is MongoDB scales easily with no downtime. It means that scalability is very high in MongoDB databases. While in MySQL, to achieve the scalability, it often requires significant custom engineering work. Simply said, it's not really easy to scale a MySQL database, but it's really very easy to scale a MongoDB database. The third point is, MongoDB makes your application faster. It makes easy to handle highly diverse data types and manages applications more efficiently at scale. And at scale, I really mean at very high scale because MongoDB has really high scalability, but then too, it's much more faster. 
now i'm saying these are pros of mongodb over sql it doesn't mean that sql is no good if data integrity is concerned then sql is the database which you should be going for like uh, for example i would say that for a bank database you definitely need data integrity so for that sql database is preferred over everything else but if you are having some application on user level like uh, let's say any application you have like for a game a quiz game let's say then it's good if you have mongodb database which has high scalability because you don't know when your game is going to get skyrocketed and it will have millions of users playing it so you want a database which can be highly scalable so in that case you might prefer mongodb so that's the end of this tutorial in the next video i'll be showing you how to install mongodb locally on your system and how to run mongodb as a service so see you in the next video bye bye